Are you able to hear me? Hey, yeah, it looks like it. So now I'm in stereo. Hey,
All right, are you able to hear me now? All right, are you able to hear me now? Yay! Looks like I did it. Yay! I did it! <laughs> I'm so excited. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, what a nightmare. Hence why I don't do lives. Maybe if I did more, it would be easier, but that's why I don't do lives. Because it's a little crazy. Welcome, everybody. Happy to see you. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, so I thought I was going to do the recording for this video yesterday. Um, and it's such a simple thing. I thought we could just hang out a little bit and say, Hey, talk a little bit, answer questions if you guys have them. And then we'll do this fun little tutorial, um, with making rings. We'll sort of do it live together and we'll just have some fun. Yay. Better live than ever. Never. I mean, let me share this video to make sure everybody's seeing this sucker. Gonna share it to Facebook. All right, so everybody should have gotten notices. And I'm not sure how to share it here. Is there a way to share it in YouTube? Do you guys know how to do that? <laughs> I don't have a clue. I am so not good at this. One of these days I'll figure out how to do all this good stuff. Hi, Michelle. First of all, hi, Julie, Hannah, Mudpie, uh, Michelle. Um, I think that's all that's actually talking at the moment, but I think there's more people around. So, yay. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. How do I share this on Google? Nope, that's add translations. Can't do one that. I want to share it on YouTube. There's probably a way that I could do that, but I don't even have a clue. I'm in Google Hangouts. So um, still haven't managed to get that second camera yet so that I can do my face at the same time as talking to you. I do have a new free program that I got that I'm going to be able to sh uh, switch between shots easier. So I'm looking forward to that. So once I get the camera, then I'll be able to go. Okay, so how's everybody doing? What have you been up to? Anybody trying any cool videos out? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I need to share it on actually YouTube, and I'm not sure how to share it on YouTube. But like to say, hey guys, come watch my video. And I'm terrified to touch anything because I don't want it to. Um, you have a, a cork tray ready to go. Hmm. Not sure what that is. What is that, Julie? Thank you, Munpai, for sharing it on Facebook. Appreciate it. If you hear me slurping, it's because I'm drinking the coffee. Awesome. I don't know if I've seen this spider web necklace. Nice. So you got some pair wire hematite, Julie. That's awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. So today I'm doing some wire work. Um, this is a ring. Let's see if this shows up any good, if it'll focus for me. Yay, there we go. So there's a ring um, I made. And this is uh, one of the settings where I just did the E6000 and glued it in. So super simple. This is a, with a chaton, uh, the 
SS24 is a really small one. Hey, it's fine. Do what you can. Hi, Jenny. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. So I also wanted to show you that you can do this with a really big gemstone as well. So you can, there's a glue option, um, but there's also a wire option. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the pearl. So this is a pearl I, I reclaimed from an old knotted set that I found in a like a sort of a value village kind of place. And I'm going to turn this into a really beautiful ring for you guys. And I'm going to show you how to sort of make this platform. Um, you can buy a lot of, let's see if I can find it. Do -do -do -do. I got sent a free gift that has one of them in them. I don't buy them. Do -do. So I have, my, I have a bag of beads beside me right now that has um, a lot of stuff that I get. Um, that has all my gems and my um, weird bits and pieces. Come on. I have no idea where I put it. I'm like an old lady or something. <laughs> I am an old lady. That's the fun part. Alright, that's my fire polish. Somewhere I have a kit here and I can't, I don't even see it. So bizarre. I had it out and it's gone. It's poofeted. Um, but anyways, you can buy those. Um, they're sort of like a, a place to glue on chatons and other things like that. You can buy those um, at Atomic Beads, all kinds of other places. Some of them have two settings, one on either side that you can then um, either bead through um, this way or holes this way. Some of them have a hole on the top. And you can just put a crystal in it and then hang it and make a piece of jewelry. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, I wanted to show you how you can actually make them yourself out of wire. Um, and then do the same, like, with the ones you get from Atomic Beads or Beadshop.com, I think, has them. Eureka Beads has them. A um, whole bunch of different places have them. With all of those, you can, um, yeah, I'm still, sorry about the rustling. I'm trying to find the, the little kit that I got that has those things in it. And I cannot find it for love nor money. Which is funny because I just had it out like two minutes ago. I hid it somewhere and I don't know I did it. Oh well, I guess we have to do without. No idea where to put it. Give me a second. I'll take a quick look. Nope. Okay. So who we got in here? We got nine people watching. Yay. Well, that's fun. And... Oh, thanks, Michelle. I'm welcome. I'm glad to have you here today. This is awesome. Hi, Kristen. Yay. Kristen's here. Let's see. Hopefully we won't get any bad people. If we do, let me know and I'll try to smack them on the head if I can figure out how to do that. That'll be good. Okay. So with this one, we'll, we'll just show you how to make them since I can't seem to find the one that has it already made, which is bizarre. And then we can go from there. So I've picked out some things that I thought would make really beautiful rings. I bought these little cabs. This is from, it's a resin round cab from Potomac Beads. It's uh, 13 millimeters. See if I can get this to focus. And it's backwards for you guys, probably. I don't know. Maybe not. 13 millimeters each. And it was a buck 49, so super cheap. I was thinking that this would be bigger than it is but it's absolutely beautiful um it's i don't even see if i can get the color to come in right there we go so it's basically roses and, and looks like an english rose garden it's really beautiful and i thought this would make an awesome ring can you see that's in a ring this would be like so beautiful <coughs> sorry <coughs> allergy season so much fun but they're too small to do 
some cab work and I, they're kind of on the small side to do bead embroidery with. So I'm like, what can I do with these suckers? I need to do something with them, right? So I thought, well, I need to make a, something that I can either glue them in or wire them in. So let's make something. So I'm going to use 18-gauge uh, wire. Um, you can use any kind of wire you like. It's 18-gauge. Um, this one happens to be a pair of wire. So turn right side up. So I'm using 18-gauge pair of wire, and I'm just going to cut what I need. Um, I also got some 26-gauge. Um, this is artistic wire because I ran out of the 26-gauge and the pair of wire. Um, I'm not going to worry terribly about a ruler because um, we're just going to figure it out as we go. I also have a ring mandrel. Um, this will be helpful, but if you have an object that is the same size as your ring finger that you're wanting to do it, you can just go around that. So, um, you know, medicine bottle, whatever, uh, um, big Sharpie. So those will work too as a, like kind of a ring mandrel. But the first thing we're going to do is sort of make this little top piece. Um, there are two different styles, and I'll show you the two different styles. Actually, let's do this one first. It's super easy. All right, change my mind. I'm a woman. I have the right to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, where's the beginning of this wire? I can always find it, and now, of course, I can't find it. This came kind of, see how it's all kind of funky? This wasn't the greatest. Um, this is pear wire, but... It came kind of all kind of bent and kinky and see how it's not like really smooth. So first thing I'm gonna do, I got some tools out. I'm just gonna grab it. Straightener. And these things are like beat to heck. I don't know if you can see how nasty they are. They're really nasty. Um, but you know what? They still work. Uh, you can get them with the interchangeable heads. I don't have one with an interchangeable head. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check this end. And what I'm looking for is the flash to see if this is flush cut or not. And as you can see, it's not flush cut. It's got like a little pointy thing. If I, I can't roll it because it's still attached. So I'm going to cut that off flat to start with on the one end. And I'm just putting my finger in the way so that it'll... And I have a little thing that I put my stuff in and I'm just going to cut off a piece. Um, you know, I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let's see. I'm going to do this one with the two little ones. So I'm going to give myself, I don't know, seven, eight inches. Maybe I could probably do it with six inches. Well, let's start with, yeah, let's go with seven. So you know what I'm doing. How's the video quality? Am I doing okay? Any questions? Hey, Michelle, have you tried any of the bead embroidery tutorials? Have you tried them out? Are you working through any of them? And that's another thing, guys. Feel free to um, friend me on Facebook. Use the link below under the Show More button. And um, when you friend me on Facebook, you can post to my page. Uh, my pie girl did that with earrings that she received, um, the free giveaway gift. So um, I'm just taking a pair of pliers now, and I'm just, you can use your round nose pliers, whatever. I'm getting into a really bad habit of using these babies. And I'm just starting a little circle. Let's see if you can see that. I'm just starting a little circle. And I'm uh, what I'm trying to do is make a spiral. Nothing major, just just the start of one. Okay. Then I'm going to take my ring mandrel and I'm going to figure out what size ring I want to make. And believe it or not, this finger is a ten, and this one here is a nine and a half. So I have big fat fingers. Um, always have had big hands. My hands are really big. Let's see. Let's make this a 10 for me. So I'm just wrapping this around my ring mandrel. I'm going around twice. 
Okay. Now, what I found, and this is one of those things they don't tell you about, is that when I size it for a 10, watch, I can make it go bigger, 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 bigger. So I, if you size it for a 9, I'm going to squeeze it around a little bit more around the 9. When it comes down, it stops at 10. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. So it actually ends up in resting state and in the size that you want. Okay. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to flip this around the other way because I need a spiral to go the other way. Okay. So basically all we're doing is, and this one here I did with just one loop. Uh, this is going to have, well, I guess I did it with two loops, but did it a little differently. So I'm going to take this and just bring it in a little bit. And then I'm going to take this one and start a loop going the other way. Well, once I get it double back on itself, I start using my pliers. And then when I can, if this isn't probably going to end up big enough, use my fingers. Oh, maybe. Yep. There we go. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm slowly bringing in each one of these from the side. And this wire is really malleable. So I don't know if you can see that I'm just sort of. Well, uh, Michelle, you're more than welcome um, to share my your work. Just friend me on Facebook. I'll accept your friendship as long as your web, your Facebook page has more than one post on it. Um, Cause that tends to be a spammer. And, you know, as, as long as you got normal posts, even if it's game playing posts, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> as long as I know that you go on Facebook. Um, and then once I know that, then I'll, I just uh, say, hey, everything's good. Okay. Now, if you're selling these for craft fairs, if you leave it at this state, this will actually flex. And... I have a bad habit of that, not finishing my sentences. Did I finish my sentence, Michelle? I'll put, uh, you can post to my Facebook page and I'm happy to let you do that. That was what I was trying to say. Okay, so if you're selling these at craft fairs or something and you these are super easy. You can sell them for like seven bucks. Um, people will buy them, uh, you know, super easy, super easy. Okay. So, um, but the only thing I don't allow on my Facebook page is promote self self promotion of selling of your own products. But if you want to just share a picture of, even if you're selling it somewhere else, as long as it's not attached to the link of where you're selling it, I'm good. Okay. So I have the two little knobbies on the side. Now, if you want it to be stay flexible so that it can change with size, so you can make it bigger. Um, if I put it on a bigger finger, what will happen is th these two will spread further apart. Um, you know, one this will go this way, this will go this way, and it'll make a bigger ring. Okay, um, and you can leave them like that so that they can they can sp spread apart and people can adjust them, or you can wire wrap them. And that's just a simple matter of either taking um, square wire or round wire. I'm just putting it in the middle here. I'm just going around with the one end here on the one side of this. And I'm actually wrapping the tail so I don't waste it. I'm pushing the wires together. And I'll cut that off in a minute. And then I just take it and bring it around underneath this side. And in this case, I bring them together because I know that the right size they were matching. Just bring it through the loop. Just bring in my wire through the loop. And going around and just hold make sure you hold your two wires stable here and this becomes a fixed ring super deep easy with this 26 gauge wire and this 18 gauge wire the 18 gauge wire will hold up for this kind of ring um, you're not going to have too much problem. Uh, if you're worried about it being work hardened, all you have to do is put it on your ring mandrel 
and I where the numbers aren't, you just pound it with your hammer a little bit on the outside, or you can pound it down this way, this direction, then flip it on your on your mandorel, and then pound it again. So you bang it against. Let me grab my hammer. I got some junk in here. I'll show you. It will make it size up though. Okay, so so you know. And I will just show you the motion because this is going to be really loud. You bang this way down, not this way. Um, and by banging it down, it work hardens it as well. And will actually help you size it up as much as a half a size. So if for some reason you got it a little bit wonky or not the right size, um, that's what you can do. Okay. So now I just need to I have my ring. What size was it? I didn't even check. Uh, ten and a half, so I need to make it smaller. That's easy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that at this point. So at this point, to make it smaller, I can just take these rings, and I'm going to bring them in a little more. Each one. Watch the magic. I haven't even taken care of the tails yet. Put it back on my ring, man, girl. And I have a size ten ring. Nine, ten, eleven. I don't even see that. So it actually sizes it down just by squeaking those in. Okay. So make it the way you like it. Bring everything around the way you like it. You can push these together in the middle more so that they're not moving anywhere. I'm going to give it one more wrap. I feel like it. Okay. So now we just need to cut off the excess wire. Sorry about all the clinking. Any questions going on? It seems like it's just you and me, Michelle, that are talking anyway. Hey guys, say hello if you're in here watching me. I'd love to hear from you and know who's actually watching. It would be super awesome to know. So I'm cutting it in the bottom, which is a risk. Um, because you can have it poke up against you, but then I'm going to take the my pliers and really flatten it down. If you find that you can't get your wires to flatten down enough, that you don't feel anything against the bottom, consumers and people or even yourself, it'll scratch your skin, minute little scratches and irritate it. And then, you know, rings that you wear and then you, you always get a little red spot or an irritation. That's why. Hey, hello, hello, Jenny. Is Jenny still watching? Yay, Jenny. Okay, if you have problems with that, cut it on the top. So what you do is you cut it just before the top. Like, I'm coming around, so it'll end sort of in the middle between those two wires. And that's, as you've seen, I used very little, that was a scrap piece of 26 gauge, and I still have lots of 26 gauge left over. Ta-da! Okay. So how do I glue something on it? Well, if I want to, I could glue something bigger on it, on these two or two beads or whatever. But in my case, I'm going to put in these chatons. That's what I did here. So what I did is I took my pliers, which are falling apart for the price I paid for them, which is amazing. So these are Zerons. And for some reason, I already have one side falling off and they're not even on the tips. So, my TP ones work better. I'm going to take it and push. You can use an awl to push if you want. You can use, I'm pushing right in the center. Maybe I should show you this, this way. I'm pushing right here in the center, in that hole. I'm actually pushing in the hole. I'm pushing back against it. And I'm making a little cup by pushing in that hole. You can actually stick something in there and bring it down a little bit more see how i made a little a little cup so now i have little cups to stick my sh my chatons in and i am not going to glue another one because i don't need any more of these but i will show you how you would do it so you just take your chaton and you actually literally glue it in place look at this so just like the all the bezels you can buy and findings you can buy online that allow you to glue um, stuff in place. So come on, focus. Be nice to me. Sometimes if I make it adjust, there we go. 
So you have, there's your little ring. Super, super easy. And I know it's really sparkly and really shiny. But that's how you do your ring. You could put a small, um, this would probably fit a true two. It's pretty small. It might fit an 11 0 seed bead if you had a, a really nice seed bead that you wanted to put in there. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about true twos and would probably be the size because these SS24s are really small. They are 5.4 millimeters. So, you know, you can definitely do a, a small fire polished. Okay. And you would glue it in. One ring down. All right. Another piece of wire. I'm going to show you how to do the big one. This one's actually still drying a little bit. So that's this one here. And that's using, again, I got these from Potomac Beads. I got a mixed pack. For rings, this is a great place to buy them. I got them, this was a 50% off sale. They had their uh, Rivolis and um, crystals on sale. They often have some big sales. So um, these are 14 millimeter ones. I can bead around them to make pendants. I can use them when I'm doing my uh, bead weaving in, um, you know, if I bezel them. I can actually bezel around them and make them a button for another beaded piece or even a leather work piece. You can use them oh, so many different ways. You just have to think outside the box. And that's what I hope my channel helps you guys do is think outside the box. Um, cool. All right, so this one, I'm gonna leave it attached at this point. And I actually straighten it out a little bit. And if you don't have that, uh, okay, this is a really thick glasses, you can see it's filthy, glasses cleaning fabric. Um, it almost feels like micro suede, but thinner, just a little bit thinner. If you don't have wire straighteners, you can use this to pull along your wire and it will help with the drag on your fingers, especially if you have arthritis and you can get your wires pretty straight and pretty clean. So just a little tip. And if you wear glasses at all, uh, most of you probably have a bazillion of those suckers hanging around. Okay, so let's cut the end off again like we always do. This is my habit. I start a project, cut off the end, move, it, move that little tiny splinter. Because that tiny splinter I've gotten stuck in the bottom. I wear bare feet around the house all the time. That tiny splinter has tripped me up more times than I want to dare tell you. I have, it ended up on the floor and ended up in the bottom of my foot, embedded in my foot where I had to dig it out. So definitely want to be careful with that stuff. How are you guys? How's your weather where you guys are? Is you still, everybody's still getting the heat wave or are we all getting the rain? Because the bad storms went through. Okay, so this one is for the big ring, for the big one. And I'm just literally making a spiral, not a very nice one, but I'm making a spiral. Doesn't really matter, it's gonna be underneath my piece. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just using my fingers at this point, it's much easier. I'm just pushing it against the wire. I'm just pushing against the two and turning my wrist a quarter turn. Um, you can also push the wire against it if, but I tend to not do as well when I do it that way. See, I messed it up. Okay, you mess it up, unsc unscroll it. That's the other reason why I leave all my bad stuff in my. Ah, oh, awesome, Jenny. Good to hear that. Yeah, we're back to normal too. We actually had, um, I'm Celsius where I am, but we were like 15 Celsius um, last night overnight, which was, I could leave the window open and, and have a blinky on my bed. It was awesome and it was nice and cool. So if you, I don't even notice, I just took it back, pulled on the wire to smooth it and kept going. 
Okay, so how big is this crystal? Now these are the two gluing forms. Ooh, don't want to use that one. That one I actually got two of. So I actually have a set of them, so I'm gonna make sure. So we use this one. So we're looking to make it the same size or bigger. Okay, so it's not big enough yet. That's why I left the wire attached. Do, 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 do. And I literally do that. Oh yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for all your patience and everything um, when I had to take a bit of a break. Um, I had a situation um, which was pretty personal happen and I also all of a sudden found myself in a situation where um, if I didn't get a roommate to come live with me um, because the person that was with me here left, um, I wasn't going to be able to make the rent. So I had to find a roommate and that was a huge transition um, and dealing with the roommate and getting them moved in and yeah. So I was able to make the rent. I got a roommate. So, but it was a scary moment in my life. Oh man, Katie, I would love to live in Scotland. I spent some time in, I lived in Germany for seven years and I love Europe. Absolutely love Europe. Oh man. And any of you in Australia, I want to come visit you. <laughs> it's the one place I haven't been that I really want to be and England's the other place that I only spent like two days in England and I really want to go and just hang out and I could live in England. It wouldn't bother me at all. Okay. So I got to get this big enough so that when I do that little spoingy trick, it'll be big enough. Okay. So I'm there. I'm going to go a little bit more and I'm going to show you why. Because now that I've gone a little bit more, I'm going to take it, figure out what ring size I want. Let's make this smaller. And I'm, I'm taking my ring mandrel and bringing it around my ring mandrel by moving it. Um, Okay, and actually I want the wire to come to the front, not to the back. So I'm going to put it underneath. Let's make it this size. Okay, so all I've done is wrap my wire around my ring mandrel at the size that I want it to be. Remember the trick about going a size smaller so that when you're done, well this one you don't quite need to do that. You need to go to the size that you actually want and I'll explain why in a second. And then I'm going to just take it at this point and cut it off. Now this is only a one bander. You could wrap it again and do a second band. That's up to you. Um, it doesn't need it. It's a really light ring. It definitely doesn't need it. So, okay. So now I want to take this. I have this wire that's going along the bottom and I have two choices. One, I can bring it over the top of this last ring here and I can um, fasten it that way um, or I can bring it across if I, if I want it to be off-centered that way or I can um, bring it around and fasten it over here. And if I do that, I don't know if you can see that it makes this bottom go wider. So it depends on what you're looking to do. Okay. Let's take this one off. Okay, so we're working. See how this sort of goes sideways on your finger? And that's actually quite in right now, that things are off-centered and a little, they're simple, but different. Any questions so far? Am I moving too fast? Thank to me be moving. <laughs> There's something that I've done that you didn't see well enough that you want to see better. There we go. Got it to refocus. Okay. 
Yeah, hi Katie. I don't know if I said hello to you when you came in. Hi, Jenny, Jane, Jamie, good to see you. Um, lovely. Who else has come in that I haven't seen yet? If I missed you, wave at me. Glad everybody's here. Any questions so far before I move on to this next step? Because I want to hang out a little bit too. You can ask me anything. I won't necessarily answer it. <laughs> I'll try. Thanks, Kristen. Take care. No questions? Everybody's good? Wow. You guys are awesome. So what I'm going to do now is, remember I said I took it a little bit farther, the little round piece? I'm going to take it now and open it back up a little bit. So I'm going to take it and pull against this last wire and just make a little bit of space. And I'm making that space so I have somewhere to wrap the wire around. Okay, so depending on where I want to wrap it, I can push that little center circle to make space for wherever I want. Okay, I'm going to pull this over top, figure out where it's got to go down. Now this is a good time. You can put it on your ring mandrel if you want to make sure you're going to bring it down so it's the same size. Bring it over top a little bit. So to get it to the size that I want, I need to bring it down about there. And what I mean is I have to bend it downwards so I can put it in that slot. Do -do -do. And if you have two wires going through, then you just, yeah, I'm bringing that into there. Then the other wire is just sitting in the center. And I've done the bend so I know where it needs to go. See, look. And that's what I have so far. And you can pull it up, pull it down, whatever way you'd like it. Okay. Now, this one, I usually take it and cut it right about here. Let me show you close. Right about there. And then I curl it back on itself. Okay. There we go. But it still has some movement. I can still move it around if I want. So now I have this very strange looking thing. I'm going to take this and bend it more flush. So I just put a little bit of a bend in here. So now I have this platform that this will fit on. Look at that. So now I have to do the normal push it in the middle. Now it will take up some space when you push it in the middle. And with these ones, they're not that deep. So I'm pushing in the middle gently. This is not as deep as you think it is. Um, so if you can push it with a stone in place, great. Okay, so there's it in with the stone in place. And obviously it's not sitting dead smack in the middle. And if you're having trouble with that kind of stuff, Check and see where it's not going down on the one side where it is on the other side. So this needs to be, I'm just pushing gently. I mean, really gently, like poking a baby cheek. You're not, you know, you just do, 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 little tappies. Yay. Okay. So that'll give me a place where I can glue it in. Or I can choose at this point now to wrap it on either side. So, or wrap it this way on either side. Like I could take a wrap and go from here, come around this wire here, come back and wrap to the other side of this wire here. And it would just make like a, a two lines across um, and it would hold it in. I would still put a little tiny bit of glue in, but you can see. And if you're worried about it does sink into the finger, right? So this whole thing can actually come up. And I just bounced my crystal on the floor. The whole thing can actually come up higher and then have your 
your your thing, your dent. And I'm going to take this and bring this around and flatten this more. So, whoops. Can you see how I sort of bent this a little bit here so that it's more flat? It's a size 10 perfectly. So, getting my crystal. Hopefully, you didn't get too big of a shot on my gray head. So, my crystal would get glued in with my E6000. And that will not go anywhere. Give it the 24 hours to dry. Make sure that this isn't in too far here. And that this very last curl here is in just a smidge so that you don't get caught on the edge wire. Okay. So that's two variations on a theme. Now this one. <coughs> sorry about that. The way that I made it. You can use these as um, if you just make a loop of the one end instead of doing the ring part, you can then hang the crystal and turn it into a pair of earrings. Ah, uh, it. Thank you so much, um, Jamie. I so appreciate that, Michelle. Um, I have so much knowledge, and I'm, well, I'm not that old. I'm trying to figure out today how old I actually am. I think I'm 57. I know it's funny. My math sucks. So there's number two. Now you can turn this into a pendant if you want. You can turn this into a pair of earrings with a crystal in it. This will fit a small crystal too because it's the same principle, right? So let's say you want just a simple pair of earrings to do with a little bling in the center. And get it to sit right. There we go. Come on, focus on me. Doesn't want to focus. My camera has a mind of its own. I think you get the idea, though. It's really. With a the silver, there we go. With a silver, you can see it a bit better there. So just think about that as as uh, an earring hanging down. So that right here would be the loop, and you'd have it, this would be dangling from your ear. Simple, little bit of bling, lovely. Those SS twenty four chatons, and remember I showed you how cheap they were two ninety nine, so three bucks. For three bucks, I got a package of thirty five or thirty six. So think about it. Little tiny bit of wire, big package of these. You can get them. Uh, you can get them in all kinds of different colors. Um, the SS twenty fours, and you can often get them on sale. So you could, you know, they could be a, a a red or a blue for Christmas. They could be, you know, green, and you could use gold wire and put a just a crystal in there and it would be beautiful um, for quickie gifts for friends and family. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Patty. Um, yeah, I was born in 1962. So I was like, well, it's like, it's 2018 now. So that I'm, did I just turn 58 or I 57? And I, I literally couldn't think, think it through this morning when I was laying in bed and I haven't bothered to waste my brain. The little bit that's left um, <laughs> to waste it further. All right, third option. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. We did this option. We did this option. Now we're going to do the third option. And then, third option, it has the option also to put a crystal in it, but it also has an option to put a bead in it too. Any of these options you could do that with. I could put it, I could have put the pearl in that too. So just think about that. I'm going to push this back. Pretend it's not a ring anymore. I'm taking these layers back and sort of evening them out. I'm just taking my fingernail. This is like the easiest way to make a spiral behave. And if you don't have any fingernails, stick. Uh, I don't even know what you could do it with the tweezers. Let's try it. I know you could probably do it with the business card. Yep. 
So then I need to make a basket and you could wire weave around these rings here with this pearl and a couple of small pearls. Think about mom. Yeah, okay. Okay, you must be Canadian. Your school hasn't started yet, right? Or from or you're from another country, England, Scotland. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Yeah, and what and school's different in Europe too, right? If I remember right, uh, my kids went to Kinderschule. I lived in Germany when my, my babies were little. And um, they were three and four when I sent them off to Kinderschule. Um, yeah. And they... Um, I'm looking for Mother Ring. Anybody see Mother Ring? Where did I put it? There it is. Um, school year was different and school hours were different too. I'm glad I'm not alone. I call it a senior moment or a brain fart. Whatever you like. I'm having a senior moment. Just a moment where my brain goes glue. And if you ever walk to the refrigerator, I mean, you can do this when you're like a kid. Walk to the refrigerator and not know what you went there for. Well, when you get older, what I've noticed is those moments happen more often. So. Uh, haven't got to the point where I'm putting, for the most part, I think I've done it once, where I put like the milk in the cupboard and the something the sugar in the fridge, you know, like you put them in the wrong place. I'm holding out. So my family has a history of Alzheimer's. Um, grandmother on both sides. So, yeah, not good. Okay. The other thing. It's like, look at that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Ah, I love that. I think I'm going to turn that into a ring for me. Come on, focus, you silly little bee me. There we go. I love that. It is almost four here. Okay, quick with the other lesson. <laughs> This one's going to start with straight wire again. I don't want to be on here all day. Although I finally figured it out, I think, a little bit more than I have before. So maybe I can do them more often. And now that the roommate issue settled a little bit more, I have the space. I'm just going to cut this because I don't want to play around. And I have lots of that 18 gauge. Um, okay. So how I did this one. I started this one with a flat edge. Okay. Turned the little circle like the ones before. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to the other end and I'm gonna make spiral. And I think this is too long. Oh well. Whatever, we'll cut off that end if we need to. Be nice. Do, 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 do. You're all thumbs today. Yeah. I was like that yesterday. Hence why I didn't film yesterday. Um, for the video for today. Because yesterday, every time I touched something, it either ended up on the floor or ended up broken. Or, it yeah, it wasn't a good thing. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep going. I need a pretty big one because I want to stick this pearl in the center of it and I want to be able to hide the wire a little bit. 
I don't worry about which direction this is at the moment. I can twist it. So it actually needs to go the other way, but that's fine. And as this gets bigger, I'm pushing towards the edge where I'm going to wrap it against. Okay. Wrapped all the way up. Er, er, big, big honking thing. Now I'm going to unwrap it. <laughs> I know. So I'm unwrapping it the one side. Let me wrap that back up because it's not very smooth. And that will help smooth it out. Doo -doo -doo. I'm, I'm trying to smooth that edge out a bit. So that when I unwrap it this way, I have a nice smooth edge this way. And then I'm going to wrap it some more. And then I'm going to wrap it, pull this back this way. Look at that. I just made a pendant piece that I could put a nice big crystal in or a pearl or an earring. Look at that. Look just, just like this. So this is playing with wire. See you later, Patty. Thanks for coming. I'm going to turn this the other way because I don't want it facing this way. And I'm going to tuck it under a little bit. And it makes this piece. These pieces can be linked together with jump rings um, all the way along. And you can turn this into a bracelet. Okay, so that's just another example of what you can do. And you can take it. I'm pushing down the center. Just trying to do it without marring everything. Make it deep enough for my pearl. So that's big enough for my pearl. You can squish these in and flatten them out a bit. Okay, so this is basically what I did on a smaller scale to make this. And I made these square on the back side. And then I just took it and took two pieces of wire that were just about a little tiny bit bigger than my ring size. And I just wrapped the two. Uh, Cut them off just like I did the, this one here, where I cut it off and wrapped it underneath. And then I brought it around the ring mandrel with two pieces of wire and figured out what size it needed to be with this sitting like this and put it around here. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of wire. I'm going to use the smaller one because this one's not set into a ring yet. And I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to put it through below the first wire. I'm going to hook it. What I'm trying to do is wrap. Okay, let me show you something cool. All right. So I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to wrap it around the top wire. Remember I said I didn't really want it on the top wire? Well, watch what I can do. This is a spiral. Who's figured it out already? Come on. I'm just trying to get the wire to lay beside each other. Bring it around. I'm going to try to get it wrapped around three times beside each other so it's nice and neat. And it's sliding all over and it's fine. A moment. Yeah, the nice thing about these ones is that you can make a bunch of the tops and then you can literally make different size bottoms, lengths of bottoms to fit all kinds of different people. And if worst case scenario comes up where they want this particular gem or bead up top and you don't have it, um, they can um, you can just switch the bottom parts if you're selling them. So come around, come around. Now I'm at the second level. See, I got it to the second level. I'm going to take my pearl. This is my reclaimed pearl. It's actually um, been around for probably 50, 60 years. Based on the other pieces of jewelry, 
that I reclaimed on this. It was a, like a secondhand store. So I'm going to pull this down, make sure my wire is not going to kink on me. And I'm going to seat it in here. Okay. And then I'm going to, I can pull up this top wire if I want and, and sink my pearl in a little bit further. This I need to cut off. So let's get rid of it. Because it's below the top wire. And this one here, I need to wrap around, let's wrap it around this wire here. So I'm going to probably have to make a little hook to get it around here. I can do it. A little easier with my magnifying light and light on. Much easier, actually. But you get the idea. I'm not, I can't do it without the light. So that's what it would look like. And ignoring the wire sticking out of it. I made it pretty small. That's what that looks like as a ring. Simple, solid, nothing to catch. What do you guys think? You guys happy with that ring? I still would have to finish wrapping it, but are you guys happy with that ring? Awesome. So that's your three different things that you can do. And that's a wire wrapped bead, basically. So you could use a fire polished in there. You could use a pearl. Um, you could use these with a pearl. Will sell for ten, twelve dollars. Seriously, um, easy, easy. Do a bunch of these with different colored pearls on the top of them, um, and they'll fly. Um, and they're literally cost me the cost of the pearl, which is if you if you dig and look, you can still get pearls online brand new that are cheap. Um, you can get your silver wire. Um, you know, you can use sterling silver or this kind of thing. And this kind of thing won't tarnish. So it'll hold up for them. I would, in this case, if I'm putting a pearl before I put the pearl in, I would have gone and hammered this to make this stronger along the bottom. So it's not going to, um, it's not going to change its shape. That's what it looks like from the side. So it's, it's actually beautiful everywhere. Um, I need to pull this down a bit more to get this bead more centered, but there. And as you can see, I can still move everything around and push some edges up, push other edges down, make it happy. And this is not going anywhere. They're not going to lose the pearl. Um, yeah. Well, anything else before I let you go for the day? It's been really awesome having you guys here. I wish more of you had uh, like said something and whatever. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. My mind. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. It will really help me. And comment. If you see something you like, if you have questions about something, make comments. All those things help me. Um, yeah. So I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today. I'm going to finish these off and I'll post uh, in the after I do this and I put it to YouTube, I will post a picture of the final, uh, what this looks like. Um, all these different rings finished off and it'll be good. Any further questions? Anybody have anything else they want to ask me before I go? Well, take care, everybody. Um, have a great night. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, keep on making from Annie's Makings. Yay! Thanks, Jenny. Love to see your work. Bye.